Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today I have a 2015 Heartland Sundance fifth wheel. I'm going to walk through how to install the soft start on an Advent 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Adding the soft start to your air conditioner is going to allow for a much quieter startup. Because the compressor inside the air conditioner draws so much power in order to get the air conditioner started, it becomes kind of loud. Maybe you're sleeping in the middle of the night, air conditioner kicks on, it kind of shakes the camper a little bit, and it can wake you up. Maybe you have little kids or something like that and it kind of disturbs them. Adding the soft start is going to require about 70% less power for the compressor to kick on, which means when we either turn it on or it kicks on by itself, we're not going to have that big rumble. It's not going to shake the whole camper, it's not going to be waking us up in the middle of the night. Let's say we only have one air conditioner in our camper. If we didn't have the soft start in, we would only be able to plug into 30 amp service. Adding the soft start would allow us to plug into 20 amp service. So maybe we have our camper at home, maybe we want to do some work on the inside. Hot summer day, we can plug it directly into an outlet on our house and we're able to use the air conditioner. Let's say we have two air conditioners, but we only go to a spot that only has 30 amp service. Having one of these installed in each one of the air conditioners will allow you to run both air conditioners off of that 30 amp service. Another benefit to adding one of these or adding one to each one of your air conditioners is uh, not only that we're using much or a lot less power for a compressor to kick on, but we're getting cold air right away. If we didn't have one, when we turn on our air conditioner, those of you who know, you know, have been around campers and know what I'm talking about, it usually takes about 45 seconds for you to get cold air. With this, as soon as you turn it on because it stores power, it's not taking so long for your compressor to, to turn your air conditioner over to get it running, which means you're getting cold air right away. Before we get into the installation, I wanna do a little test. Um, I have a 1600 watt generator. I wanna see if the air conditioner is gonna run by itself off the 1600 watt air conditioner. As I mentioned before, we should be able to run our air conditioner with a soft start installed on a small, on a small generator. So I'm gonna do a test to see what the generator does without the soft start, and then we're gonna do a test after we install it to see how much it changes. We have our small 1600 watt generator, just under 15 amps. We'll go ahead and plug it in. I'm gonna go in, start the air conditioner without the soft start installed, and we'll see what happens with our generator. Now I'm going to turn, the, turn this on to high cool. We're going to see if you can actually hear the compressor kick on. Without this, without this installed, uh, you would definitely be able to hear it come on because it has a real deep sound because it's pulling so much power in order to get the AC unit up and running. I couldn't even hear it and I'm standing right next to it. So this is a generator that we use, the E2000, 1600 running watts, 2000 starting watts. Uh, the test didn't go exactly how I thought it was going to go, uh, but I was hoping to get a little less sound out of the start capacitor being on it. However, this shows us with a start capacitor on there, we can run even a smaller generator than what we have here. As far as the installation process, pretty simple and straightforward. It has five wires. Instructions are very clear. You just want to make sure you pull up the instructions for your specific AC unit to get it installed. To start your installation, we're going to be working with an Advent 13,500 BTU air conditioner. To remove the cover, Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to have two bolts in the back and then four along each side. Next, we need to mount the box. We want to make sure wherever you mount it, you can see the indicator lights. The only place that I really found suitable to mount it with this unit is right in this area on the left side. We're going to take it and we're going to stick it right inside here. Keep in mind, we don't want this side 
where we screw our top back down. We want to make sure that this is centered in between them so that when we drive the screw in, it doesn't go into this. Make sure the wires are facing back because we're going to take them, we're going to run them underneath and then over to that side. So we'll pull out on this edge just a little bit. Do a test fit, make sure it's going to sit in there. I think that's going to work good. On the back side, you're going to have two-sided tape. We're going to pull this off. We'll stick it back in that same spot. That way it's not sliding around. If we hit bumps or anything like that, we don't have to worry about it moving. Now we can take all of our wires, make sure we stay away from the fan. I'm gonna run them down underneath and you can kind of see the other wires coming out here. I'm gonna ride them over just like that. couple things we're going to need while you're up here. Crimpers. You're going to need a second male spade connector and a second female spade connector. We're going to take each one of our wires and follow the instructions for putting the correct connector on that wire. So we'll, we can start with our red. It really doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm going to start with the red. The red gets a male. So we'll cut this down just a little bit. Black is going to get a female. Make sure it's, if you're doing the black one, it's not the one with the pigtail on it. Blue. is gonna get our second male. Yellow is gonna get our second female. And then last, we have our brown wire. Our brown wire is gonna get the pigtail. Next, we'll take our snips. We're going to cut these two zip ties. Make sure you don't cut the wires. And if I didn't mention it, you want to make sure before you start messing with any wiring, turn your breaker off, your main breaker, to the unit or to the uh, camper. We'll cut the zip tie off this rubber cover here, and we'll pull this cover off. We're going to take an 8 millimeter socket and remove this cap off the top of our compressor. This white wire right here, we need to follow it down to where it plugs into the top of our start capacitor. And there are two white wires that are running in there. So I need to determine which one of these two it's gonna be. Next we need to determine which one of these two wires runs up to our compressor. You may have to cut a couple of zip ties and kind of strip the sheathing back just a little bit you're going to have one of those wires that runs down to here and the other one's going to follow this wire, this cable up to here or up to your compressor. What I determined is if you'll notice this one over here to the right is a little bit thicker than the one on the left. The one on the left is the one that goes up to our compressor. So that's the one we need to find. We're going to take the white wire, we're going to disconnect it off of this terminal and we're going to connect it to the blue wire on our soft start. We're going to take our black wire and we're going to put it where we just disconnected the white wire on our start capacitor. Next, we're going to take our yellow wire, go to the red wire that's on our start capacitor. You'll see the word Herm. We want to plug this in right in the terminal next to it on the Herm side.
Now we're gonna take our blue compressor wire. We're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna take our red wire and plug it into it. We're gonna take our brown wire with that piggyback and we're gonna cut this piggyback off and we're gonna put this in its place. But we're gonna to have to bend this and then we want the curls facing your red and white wire. And this is going to plug in its place. I'm going to take some electrical tape. I'm going to tape my red and blue wire. Once I tape these, these will not be going back under the cap for the compressor. I'm actually going to tape them right along this, uh, right along that top edge there of that wire cover. And then this brown one. We'll turn it like this, and then we can reinstall the cap. Then we can move to getting our wires cleaned up. Make sure they're not gonna get caught on anything. Your kit does come with a couple of zip ties. So we can get those zip tied up. However, however you really need to, to make sure that they're not gonna get caught in anything. What I might do is I might throw some wire loom on it from about here down and over, just to be extra cautious. And then the rest of this up here, I can just kind of bundle it up and zip tie it and drop it back on there. Now we're gonna test out our unit. There's a sequence you have to do in order to see our green light. We're gonna turn the AC to Fan on high for one minute. After one minute, we're gonna turn it to auto cool and then set the thermostat to 55 degrees. Once the indicator light turns green and stays green, you're good to go. Now that we know our green light's on and stayed on, we can go ahead and put our AC cover back on, we're ready to go. It's gonna do it for a look at in installation of the soft start on an Advent 13,500 BTU air conditioner on a 2015 Heartland Sundance fifth wheel.